Another way of contrasting trees is based on how long they keep their leaves, whether they're evergreen or deciduous trees. You might think of broadleafed trees as both deciduous, like this walnut, and evergreen, like this acacia. And you may expect that conifers and gymnosperms, like the cedars here, would be mainly evergreen. But there are some deciduous conifers, like dawn redwood and larches. The leaves of deciduous trees are good for about a season, and they typically drop in the fall before winter arrives. There are summer deciduous trees, such as the California buckeye, which drop their leaves to conserve water during the summer. The benefit of losing the leaves in the winter is that snow and heavy winds will not affect the trees as much. Cold is also easier to tolerate when you're dormant. Trees that drop their leaves in the winter start that process earlier in the season. Leaves are usually green because of a pigment called chlorophyll. This pigment is used to photosynthesize and throughout the season it gets replenished. But towards the end of the season, the tree stops producing this and that allows these other colors to come through. You might have carotenoids, which are more of a yellow orange color or you'll have something more vibrant, like purples, reds, um, these are anthocyanins. And the conditions that make for vibrant color are shorter days and colder nights. So if you're going through a particularly warm winter, you may not see vivid colors at all. Once the tree has moved the majority of these resources back into the stem, it forms what's called an abscission zone at the base of the petiole. It's an area where the cells are dead and it makes the leaf very easy to detach. Deciduous trees tend to drop all their leaves at once, so you're limited to clean up about once a year. Clients may not consider that evergreen trees can be just as messy as deciduous trees. The older interior foliage of this redwood is turning brown and falling off. So if you prefer a manicured landscape or you have gutters, evergreen leaf litter can be more of a hassle because it's year round. There are some deciduous trees that have what's called marcescence. The leaves of these trees turn brown but don't drop until the spring. It's not known for sure why trees have this characteristic. It may be that the dead leaves help protect the new buds from getting eaten during the winter by herbivores, or perhaps it helps to retain the leaves until the spring when it drops right as the tree needs them. Whatever the case, the implication for management is, one, if you're picking a species and you don't like the look of these dead brown leaves throughout the winter, you may pick another species. Secondly, if you find a tree that has this marcescent quality, you don't want to condemn it as a tree that died suddenly. Dead trees that have died suddenly do not have time to form the zone of abscission at the base of the petiole, so their leaves will stay on the tree 